<clears throat> Morning everybody and how are you? My name's Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business called The Flower Patch. And I hope you all had a fantastic Easter weekend, guys. Lots of goodies and uh, made yourself uh, feel great by eating all that chocolate. I did. I thought, oh, why not? Let's just stuff myself. So I had a fabulous time. So, guys, uh, sorry about yesterday. I had some family uh, stuff to do. Help uh, my son uh, choose his... Uh, new tiles and everything um, to place in his new bathroom that he is going to be doing up. So today I'm going to do, I've had a request about, I think it was Thursday, Friday of last week, um, a young lady asked if I could do just like a circular container uh, with something just fresh looking for her kitchen. A little she got on the corner of her island on her kitchen worktop so uh, I uh, su suggested uh, a few lemons and floral nothing too much um, quite you know airy but also refreshing so she said that sounds good so that's what we're going to do today so I've already placed in my uh, dried foam and attached some it's bit, got bits on uh, wreath wrap around it um, <clears throat> excuse me uh, so you can't um, use floral pins to hold it into place some of the wreath wrap with it being a slight circular a shape on the edging so and it's fixed in uh, with some uh, floral frogs as we call them so that's what we've got and it's um, like a tin a copper coloured tin uh, container yeah <laughs> so we're going to use I don't know how many I need but I've got three bunches out of my little lemons I thought I want it still airy but again refreshing looking. So we've got some lemons out. I did pick out just three bunches of apples. Oh, I've dropped one. Of apples as well. I think three, three or four bunches of uh, stems of apples. Because I thought they would add a little bit of nice texture in with them. So not too many though of those. So we've got our lemons. <clears throat> I wanted a bit of you know, wisps be. So I thought, oh, we need a little bit of floral. Why not white? You know, white and lemon, beautiful, refreshing. Let's do that. So I've got some of those out, little wild daisies, but I've also got some daisies out as well. Because I couldn't really make my mind up which one would look better until I start placing things in. Now I have got some patchouli. Here, or, um, but I've got it in variegated and oh I've got one of my hops in there oh I might stuff that in uh, and in just the green I can't make out uh, which one to use it may be that one I don't know how you pronounce it is it patchouli where's that in balls I'll go by the in balls if I this is it That's not it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, patchouli. That's right, patchouli. Ah, oh, thought I was rough, all right. But variegated and just green. Still got me to order list here. So, yeah, that. And then I've got some flocked tarragon. So I thought we could just add a bit of that herbing around the edge as well being in the kitchen. So that's what we're going to do. 
I might get my laser Susan out, I don't know. Yeah, come on Susan, you've had a Easter break. Let's get you out. And let's do some work. Oh guys. So what I'm going to be doing first is placing in our lemon. So these are on a spray. Even the leaves are wired as well. Guess what I treated to my cats to for Easter. <laughs> they went crazy over it. Catnip. Oh my gosh. Marley, he just shoved his head in the bag. He just literally, guys, placed his head inside the bag. Oh gosh, me and my youngest son was laughing his head off. And I kept telling Molly to wait a minute, wait a minute, let me put a bit down. Oh goodness me. So I'm just fluffing these up because I want to use a little bit coming over the side. You can use this in a long container, it doesn't have to be circular. Get the other one and fluff this one up as well. Even the lemons on here are all uh, wired, so you can maneuver those into a position that you'd like, which I'm doing. I'm just lifting the heads on some of them and bringing some out. So what I want to do is cross them over in the centre so you've got that effect. I will snip this sort off. Um, but it's so they've uh, got that effect and then add some of the apples around the centre. That was my plan this morning that I'm going to do. So, I don't think we need a third. So let's place that on the floor. So let's grab and cut. I'm going to cut about that because again, and I'm going to go in, down, and I'll cut a little bit more off so it sits and then I'm going to push it in. And then again, I can still always manipulate it how I'd like it to sit. So I'm going in from the top like that as you can see it's going down and then push it down at an angle so we'll bring that one down here so they meet like that and again bring them out lift some up And if you find that that's too long, I may chop that off there and bring that around the edge. But let's get the other one in first. Or you could bring it down here if you wanted to bring it in closer. Just bend that down. Lift up my lemons. Where's that leaf? I may do the same actually, guys, with that one. Let's cut it at an angle again. Oh my gosh, they are strong. And I'm going to go through here so they actually meet in the centre. Makes more sense, doesn't it? I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Yes. 
just again manipulate your leaves into wherever I want a few sticking up and if you feel that they are still sticking up and you want them down um, if you haven't got any moss pins I've had to order some guys they are going like crazy this weekend get a wire bend it over make a U, U shape and that will hold it down we'll do the same with this one just bring a few up in the centre I could bring that out to the side doesn't that look wonderful just like that by itself nice and refreshing already guys just lift that one slightly because I'm trying to balance all the the lemons out so they're all on show in different angles as well as the foliage that they're all spread around right <clears throat> so I'm going to add in a little bit of apple Again, I'd like to have these around just again hanging around for a little bit of more fruit but a different variety but the very similar colour to the lemons. So I'm just placing these in. I'm cutting them quite small. I don't want them sticking too far out. I've got one I'll place in the centre. Let's get that. we're in April guys already don't it seem to go quick this is why I say to my kids time does really go fast enjoy every moment make the most of it so that's what we have for our lemons today doesn't that look pretty and the odd apple two apples either side and one in the centre just with it being a very very similar colour but with a hint of green on the apples so I think that is beautiful can you imagine if you've got a nice white and lemon kitchen oh that would sit lovely oh I go into my dreamy world again guys I don't think those days is all suit I'm very particular let's just get that one out because it's got two odd bits left on these and let's just chop these off and these are push-ups Get it up. <laughs> oh God. Right. I again I like that airy look. I just want to sit yeah, they're better. So that's all I wanted to clarify guys. So we're not using those ones. So let's get some of our foliage in. I may do a mixture of these patchoulas if I can get them out. <laughs> may split them up as well because they have got like three three 
little bits coming off of the main, well, two coming off the main stem, so I could either use them as a hole, you know, and bring it down, or fill it in. I think I'm going to fill it in. You know me, guys, I like to get the most. Now, these are, haven't got wiring on the side, so let's make a pick from it pull it off to the side and place in or glue in our own. I like it when you can take them off and uh, you can make your own pick because then they go further. You can get them to go further. What about this one? No, you can, can't with this one. So we'll have to use that as it is. Do another one. Pull that from the side. Pull that one off. Take off those little prongs that we don't need. I may again, like I say, I may, I may actually add a bit of both in the green and the variegated. So I think now because I've got two I want to bring these longer pieces at the end and I've just dropped some in. So let's just fluff it up. I got these guys from my wholesaler. Um, you have to have a business to be able to order from his site so it's a waste of time me really telling you where to go and get them but you can get them from anywhere uh, there's many many places that will do them I can get this in so yeah it's I mean, I've seen them on Amazon, eBay, um, all places like that. Any artificial uh, floristry shop that is for the public, you'd be able to get hold of them there as well. I can't get it in. leaf through there incorporate it within so like that I may have to just do another pick I can see in the center as well let's see that there. these smaller pieces down and what I'm wanting to do with those is incorporate some of those in and I want to go up there like that I'm just placing them in the center. I'm not doing anything really special with them. Just letting them sit. Again, I like airy designs. 
as you all know, we're wispy bits, but natural as well. So let's try some of the darker green. Let's have a look. Yes, that looks pretty. And I'm going to do the same with this as well. Let's get two stems. Now, these look like they've only got just the main stem. So, if that's the case, then I will just trim them down. And use cut them in half. I want to be placing some <clears throat> around here. Look at that colour green against it. Isn't that divine? Oh guys. Let's just get the leaves. placing these I have got the bottom and that's the top of one stem now where you see the top on this side now I will go in the diagonal position and place it opposite but again in the diagonal position because I don't want too small there and then you know too large and I'm doing that basically to balance the look because by having two small ones either side of each other doesn't balance it out hence the reason I do them like that <clears throat> and again you can still get your fruit and stick it up just so you can still see it I placed it as it is like that you know obviously I will manipulate it so you can see more of it once you know all the greenery and everything is completed you, you get more of an idea of where things are and that's what we have at the moment guys <clears throat> Excuse me. So it doesn't that look, look pretty. Again, we're still not finished. We've got some of our tarragon. I've seen this come off of something. I need to see where it's come from. It's like that one. Oh my goodness, where's it come from? You watch it will be the last one. Yeah. Let's glue that in. Because we don't want that coming off. If it's come off once, it'll come off again. That's my motto, guys. So get it glued on. So, look at those, don't they look beautiful added in? Oh my gosh. I've got five out because I don't know if I'm going to use five. But you never know, guys. Let me cut the, oh mind you, the pull off tags. And I, you can also, as well as you saw, that will come off. If you wanted to use them individually, in fact, let's try that. So what I do if I want to use them individual, I've got some picks that I cut hot off when I placed in things. Pull it off. Get a small pick. Floral wire. 
use it like that. So let's just take one off and see. Okay. Use that. And then it'll go further, especially if you don't want something sticking out too much as a big cluster. Separate them on the main stem and you can have them indiv individually. So. lovely to have something refreshing sat in your kitchen it, I think in a way it gives off that nice summer vibe having a lemonade or a gin and tea in your kitchen with friends So out of that one cluster, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight little sprigs. So now you can just cut them to the length that you require and dot them about so you can just like for filler, but also make sure you can see them as well because they are a very pretty thing. No, I don't want them hidden. Oops. My glue's really going down, guys. I'm like I say, I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm not doing nothing or filling it up with glue until it's empty. Because I, I want to clean the bottom. I've got my spatula out and moved it around, and it is dirty. Dirty right at the bottom. Whatever's at, the rest of the dirt at the bottom is going brown because it's burning with the heat so I need to clean it. I'm disgusted in myself. <clears throat> and just dot, like I say, just dot these around, add them within your arrangement. You don't have to have these all in the same place if you don't wish. Again these are just like a bit of filler but also give off that nice little look. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I think I don't know whether what's wrong with my voice, uh, but I haven't yet come down with the cold that my sons both had. But my voice is very dry, and I'm gonna take another one apart and I'm going to do this exact same thing guys so I don't need those three these will be more than enough oh, gosh that's the one I glued on <laughs> so we don't need those so one two three four let's cut them Around here first. So, you know, guess what, though, guys, I've still got some chocolate left from Easter. I've not eaten it all. I've still got a full Easter egg left and half of an Easter egg left. My kids have eaten theirs. They ate theirs the same day. 
I think my husband's got a, a two bars of chocolates what's left out of the, the Easter egg left. Um, I don't know how much my stuck stepson's got left. <clears throat> but yeah. And I'm the chocoholic, but they've eaten it all before me. I've got a thing about cakes at the moment, carrot cake. I just can't get enough of it. The carrot cake that I get from the, our local store, oh, it's beautiful. Really soft. It's really, really nice. And then I went and had a piece of chocolate cake that was, I think, now, I mean, it used to be one of my favourites, the uh, Swiss cake. Um, when I had a bite of that, it, it tasted... Um, Oh, what's the word? Oh, I can't remember the word, guys. I've gone all... It came a bit dry and... Um... Oh, gosh, my mind's gone blank. Where it's not freshly made. It's like pre-packed food, it's like it's been chemical, I could taste like the chemicals in it or something, so, so to speak. But if you know what I'm saying, I forgot the word. I'm sure somebody will help me out. <laughs> but yeah, that's how it tasted, so I haven't touched that now. And that's made me go off of that, isn't that weird? Before, I'd eat lots of it, now carrot cake because it's so soft right I'm just going around with the tarragon again and placing some around the edges or as well we need to be able to get some all around there I've had to bring my camera um, away today because I was, I had it closer and I was looking at it and it just didn't look right. So I had to move it. These are the same texture as what the lamb's ear is. I've got a garland. <clears throat> a lady who, uh, she's, I think she's just got them new in herself. An eight foot garland, guys, and all it is is lamb's ear. It's hanging up there, and you can cut them off and put your own picks on. That's the reason I got it. And that is, I'll show it you. I'll show it you later. But that's the reason that I got it. So I could place in all my picks and use it but like you know sparingly instead of having to use it as a garland look at that guys doesn't that look lovely just with the shorter pieces of these all cut off instead of as a cluster as one like that look much more airy more you know, like your, your florals breathing and it gives off a different, total different effect to having, again, like I say, one big cluster like that sat in your pot. Unless that's the style that you wish to do is with a cluster. So, I could place these down and have just some of these sticking up like so or I could have the odd one coming over and out down at the bottom with the length of these just checking that that's still on yet yet so I could do either 
and again if you wish you could cut that there and have it more of a round effect and stick these in there I'm going to keep them as they are I can easily bend them bring them in like that and shorten it but I'm not going to cut them I've got these hops here I don't know why I've got this I'm going to place that in. I know I haven't got any hops left, so well, I'll probably put it in there because it looks very similar. Um, but I got this again from the same company as I got the tarragon and the patchouli, um, where you have to have a business to order. But doesn't that look pretty? Really, really pretty. So I'm gonna, now do I? I think I'm going to cut it in two guys. I'm going to get a bit out of each. I think that may need to come off. And I can place these on pits. Those leaves. I want what both the same. I want to place those in the center. The longest one, the, or the tallest one, I want leaning to the side. So I'm going to place them in at a small angle so it leans over. So it's just leaning that way. Same with that one. The longest one I want on the bottom, which makes it then look like it's elongated and it's going over. If you had it that way, then your longest one would be sticking upwards. So we'll do the same here. So just give that a little bit of lime green in the centre. <clears throat> now I've got these and I'm two of these I'm going left, which again I'm going to place on picks. Again, I don't like throwing anything because it can all be used. I'll cut that one in half and use the same for that. So I'm going to place these either side. So I'll place one here first. As you can see it just in the corner, the, not in the corner, but you know, in the centre, <laughs> snugly fitting in the centre, and that one as well. Just push that one a little bit down. There we go. So there we have that. So we don't need no more of these. I was looking as well what else to use, but I thought I don't want to overdo it guys. I want to make it a simple, easy arrangement for everybody to, you know, just have a go with a minimal amount of elements to use, you know, and if you get a round or a rectangle or even a square container any shape container and you can create a beautiful now arrangement now as you can see there's gaps there now I can either get some more filler foliage or I can use something like bay leaves I've got a few sage leaves actually what a similar color and they are oddments so let me just grab those guys I had these when I was going through things and they are like lime green sage leaves so I could stick those in as well to, so I can use those up and if I wish and I cut some and place some on single picks as well that one's fallen off so let's glue that one back on
So yeah, I can oddments like this. I think majority of them I've placed on single picks. So we can dot these around as well. Let's just have a look. I think if I'm doing correctly. Let's do a few, about three single picks or something like that together. Instead of a cluster. go in each corner I say corner even though it's a cylinder shape <laughs> you know what I mean guys each corner of the, of the foam some more some on picks let's take some more I've just placed that one on never mind never mind again just by taking them off the picks they go you know they go further uh, off the main stem Because you don't always, you may not even always want just that, you know, a cluster of them together. Um, so that's why I tend to, you know, as I'm going along, think, well, I, I wouldn't want, you know, maybe in my mind I'm thinking I don't want a cluster. So let's take them off and put picks on. I didn't want with these again I want it all quite individual airy but refreshing these in Oh, my dear sister went in hospital to have the camera down her throat oh oh guys that's one of my dreaded fears is that camera going down my throat oh my goodness she wasn't looking forward to it either but I mean years and years ago guys the camera used to be really thick the, the tubing and it's that what <laughs> puts me off I don't like anything going up my nose, down the back of my throat, through my mouth, down the back of my throat, or playing around with my eyes. Don't like it. I really, really don't. I'm not squeamish. I mean, I used to be a community nurse, but I'm not squeamish. Um, I just don't like, I couldn't do that. You know, it's, ugh. it's the thought of it, you know, makes me want to uh, throw, throw up. It's a horrible, horrible feeling. 
she managed it she said she managed it it wasn't as bad as she thought because the pipe is no longer as thick as it used to be she says if it used to be as thick as it were no chance they'd have to put her to sleep but she's uh, she did manage it bless her oh gosh <clears throat> never i would immediately say no 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 i know that the doctors have got the best interest but not for me <laughs> really not for me right i'm placing one either end here and i'm gonna just place those in like that now that's not as for so let's just get so yeah she's okay um they just wanted to see what the pain in her tummy was um they find what it is it's you know the consort of medication like she says oh gosh as we get older everything's medication <laughs> But um, she's fine. I was on the phone with her yesterday. She is fine. She, and the thing is, she had to have it done on Easter Sunday. Of all days, Easter Sunday. Oh, what a day. I wanted to be at hospital, uh, home eating my chocolate. <laughs> I know that might sound selfish, guys, but come on, it's Easter Sunday. <laughs> I'm just, where's that one sitting? I can't see why it won't go in. Let's just pull it. Oh, I've pulled it off. I am so heavy handed. It is unbelievable. If you can hear some noise, the builders are finally doing something. <laughs> My neighbour over the road said, they've been here a week and they've not done nothing yet. But they are digging up the ground today. I spotted it as I had a look out of my window and saw it happening. So yeah. I'm going to place these together because, let's see if I can get this. There's not much really on these. I'm going to place one at the other side, hit it here, because I've just placed that one there, and I'm pushing it right down. Isn't that beautiful? Now I can see a gap in the centre. What shall I place there? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I did put a couple of these here. What needed to go on picks? My bay leaves. So let's. Oh, I just broke that one. And it can't be fixed. Oh, 
Again, I don't want to overdo it with the uh, floral. The main focal point is the lemons. So let's stick this in the center. I'm still in two miles, there's still something needed. And I think it's another bay leaf now, I've just placed one in. So let me grab another bay leaf. so good to be back it is I love my job let's get one here opposite so it looks together right I can see one where I want it down here Place that in. No, I'm not. So, guys, that is our small little tutorial for today where you could make something nice and fresh and beautiful for your kitchen, your friend, family, or even a customer, and do something really beautiful to sit and refreshing. Um, in lemons, could be strawberries, cherries, oh, cherries would be a nice one, grapes, um, bananas, anything, because I've got a box of artificial fruit, um, a real <laughs> box. <laughs> Um, it could be anything. Stick a few flowers in, not too much, you know, you don't, you want to keep an eye on the lemons and as I turn it like that I can spot all the lemons are sticking out, you know, even though they are a subtle colour, they're not a vibrant yellow and I've spotted the odd apple as well and with the light uh, coloured um, foliage but I've added also a limey colour in as well because that is what the colour is on the apple. The bit of the limey green is on the apple. If I bring it up close, you may see. Or if I turn it that way, you may see it better. But that's got a bit of lime in. So I have incorporated the sage here, which has got the lime on. And also the hops. And it's got lime green on the, uh, the leaves from the... Uh, lemons and then i've just brought it down a little bit where instead of adding too much lime with a flocked uh, tarragon and added those in and the white wild daisies with a bit of movement just to calm it down from all the lime green and and you know and the yellow just to soften it slightly yeah. and i think that looks wonderful if i hold it like that in a nice display you know even if it's the uh, a copper color like this one doesn't matter 
um, that goes really well with that actually but I usually do say um, use whatever container you've got or if you you know use the same or incorporate that color within well I haven't done that on this occasion because before we started I checked it out and thought well the arrangement is going to be there but the copper blends in beautiful it's not a put it's a subtle copper color I'm not focusing on it when I looked at it I was focusing and noticed the lemons uh, or you know I say the opposite and say whatever you use here for your elements get a container what's got something along those colors in it but again on this occasion it just shows that doesn't always have to be um, and plus that's another reason I wanted to show you that you could do it in a different container but it still balances it all out because it, it's not a tall container to where you would notice the copper and it may then look odd it's only three inches high that is it so and I think that is lovely I might put that in my <laughs> no I'm not gonna put it in my house it's gonna go on show because all the Easter things now have gone um, and I'm that's going that's going somebody's um, ordered that guys that is going as well that's already got I've got to box that up they're coming to fetch that um, that I made up at the top I made that for myself I like that um, and that was in blues if I if you can remember the video on it oh it's I've stuck it down with tape but um, let me just that's what I made with the candles in the blue and I made that for myself because I loved the blue and ranunculus so I've kept that for myself so that's staying up there it's not going anywhere but there's other bits yeah that's going that's going that's going that's not gone yet so I've got I've got a bit of room to put things so I'm gonna have to place this on there I think so I can't have it in my house <laughs> but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that that's a you know lesson or tutorial on how to use just a few little elements and to place them in a, in a container that would look lovely in your kitchen on your corner of your worktop or on an island on the corner or in the window on a dining room table or even on a cabinet in the kitchen anywhere and uh, it looks fresh summery and nice cheerful and bright gives you that lovely nice happy feeling so guys again please subscribe share and like um, and thank you all to you new subscribers I've noticed it's popping up on my um, on my uh, oh go on YouTube uh, account uh, the people that are subscribing uh, thank you so so much everybody it's a wonderful wonderful feeling and I'm really really overwhelmed really overwhelmed you're just such wonderful people keep watching you know I really do appreciate it and it does help get my business recognized so share to everybody share to the world and um, and I'll be in touch um, with you all again when we do another video tomorrow. But before I go, I'm going to show you that uh, that garland that I promised. Let's get Lazy Susan away now. She's done a bit of work for today. I told my husband I'm going to have to start wearing my pinny because all my clothes are getting too dirty. I do have um, a work apron that I should wear. And it's got flowers, but... I started wearing, I was wearing it at one stage at the videos and then I, it's part of my uniform but because it's everywhere I go in the house and everything drops off onto the carpet now I ordered this oh guys look you can take them off ah, 
Oh, can you just imagine? And I am going to show you. Which end is best? It off. I can put this back on. Just think of all the lambs here. So if you can get a garland where they the lamb of lambs here and they pull off so you can place your own picks on, do it guys. Because I know lambs here, and many of you will, that it is so so it can be so expensive. And that's just for a small bunch. This cost me 10 pound in English money. M maybe that may be about $13 in America, something like that, 13 to $15. It's 2.4 meters long, which is eight foot. And all of those lambs here on the whole lot there's one that's just popped off up there again as you can see you can pull them off I won't glue it as you need it place in your own pick and you have one there what you know me guys if I can find a cheaper way of doing it I will do it and I will surely always let you know because it is a fabulous idea and I am going to get another one this is from an old sailor um, and I am going to get another one so all of those pieces I mean just in that bit of space here we have got one two three four five six seven seven in just that little bit of space from where my hand is here down the seven there so if you get seven every time you do that to another seven there another seven there till you go all the way down guys you can't complain for the for the dollar you really can't so if you ever find a garland with lambs here again I'm sure I think you have to have an account with the this wholesaler um, but I think it's open to the general public um, if if it isn't if I mean I'll give you the uh, I don't mind sharing with you who it is it's Lily Jade Floristry Wholesale um, she only ships to the UK and Ireland she doesn't ship to America unfortunately um, I've asked before for customers purposes uh, but they don't so so yeah guys she does them grab them while you can and I'm going to order another perhaps one or two because these are brilliant for weddings absolutely brilliant you just think if you're doing a full wedding, guys, you're not gonna you're not gonna use all of the eight foot garland for a one we full wedding unless it's massive, you know, just for the odd sprig. Unless you're doing the table centerpieces and it's good for that. Sorry about the noise. I'll do it later. Unless you're using it for the table centerpiece for the bride's floor flowers at, at the front of the table, things like that. Perfect absolutely perfect place it all on a tray and it put flowers in throughout you know between it you can't go wrong so again I'm going to order another one or two of those so I've got them then they'll last me um, because I do run out of lambs here quite a lot and again it it's quite expensive where I get it from and the thing is every time you order it you have to pay shipping and if I just want the lambs here by itself um, then I'm paying shipping and taxes on top of it so I mean you do pay shipping and taxes with this but it's a wholesale I order more than just this from her so I, I do get my money's worth so again you know an idea for you you know to think of 
or any garland, you know, a garland where you've got eucalyptus on or a garland where you can take the leaves off and put your own picks on. Uh, is a cheaper way than just buying, a, say, like five bunches. You know, I, I buy five bunches, I buy ten bunches, but when I know I use a lot of something, like the lamb's ear, I look for the garlands and place my own picks on. It's just an easier way and a cheaper way. So that's just a little advice for you guys out there, um, unless you're buying in bulk. So again, uh, I hope you enjoyed our little arrangement today that we did guys. And this is a great thing for you new beginners and your new subscribers who are just starting out in artificial floral designs. And it's something simple for you to do. So give it a go guys and I'll see you all again tomorrow. God bless, take care and again please subscribe, share and like and I love you all. Bye bye for now. Bye.